Hey everybody, thanks for pressing play. In this video, I want to show you this car here. This is, oh no, it's really windy. This is a Santa Fe, before I get outside, Santa Fe, four wheel drive, automatic, executive plus, mm, I'm gonna to have to go somewhere else. Somehow, no matter where I stand today, there is wind, there's even wind here. I've been, oh my God, look, look, I'm in a corner. Anyway, let's try that again. So, uh, like we're saying, Santa Fe, four wheel drive, executive plus, automatics fairly seldom in these. If you're looking for a Santa Fe four wheel drive automatic, they just don't tend to come up a lot. They're an expensive car, brand new. So whenever they come in, I suppose they're always nice uh, because there is more manuals around than automatics. Black, I think is a really nice color. Uh, so in this video, I want to show you around the features on the outside and the inside of the car. And we're going to go for a drive in the car as well. If there's any information you want on the car, Brian is by the 086 843 1945. Contact WhatsApp, whatever suits. And if you have to go through information on the car, trading in the car, scrapping the car, finance. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. It's so bizarre. Like the wind goes that way, then it goes that way, then it goes that way. It, it literally is going around in circles. Anyway, there's a really high spec in this car. I might start off by going for a drive, I think, because it's so bloody windy and I'll find somewhere else to park up to so show you the outside of the car. Driving the car, so they feel really high, um, much bigger than a Tucson. It feels like a kind of more spacious cabin overall. Feels a little bit more upmarket. And in terms of kind of the visibility and stuff, you sit higher off the ground, because obviously it's a bigger car. Uh, and even just the way it behaves as well, so there's more power because it's a 2.2 uh, So for overtaking and stuff like that, it just feels a lot bigger than a lot of the other SUVs that we're used to driving normally Which are the medium sized ones, uh, like you know Tucson and Sportage and Qashqai and that kind of stuff um, In terms of uh, the way they are on the road, so you'd expect a big car like this to be kind of wavy and rolly But it's not actually, sitting on a road like this, going over bumps and compressions, sits nicely uh, on the road you can drive it you know you can pretty much push it on like you push on a normal hatchback car in terms of features on the car there's a trip computer here which is controlled from the steering uh, after that the car will also you see it gives you the four wheel drive readout it tells you where the power is going to which wheels are getting power uh, after that then there's adaptive cruise control so you can see you can follow the car in front if they slow down you slow down bluetooth controls on the left hand side over there auto lights and then there's also auto wipers over here uh, and then down through the center then there is going to be heated seats and a heated steering wheel dual zone climate control so different temperatures on each side of the car and then you have this um floating dash which has the radio and then you, it's touch and swipe it has apple carplay and android also so you use google maps and things like that and then controls for electrics for windows folding mirrors over through here the beeping that we heard was where it's drifting across the white line that can be turned off over here and there's also a diff lock as well if you're off-roading and the power in them Santa Fe is 197 brake horsepower and they are two ton towing capacity with an automatic and manual is 2.5 tons an automatic is two tons so as you can see it drives nice <coughs> trying to find somewhere here that's not windy and that's why I'm backed into a corner here it's not ideal right outside the window of a toilet anyway as professional as you can get very very cool looking car at the front to be fair it's very imposing really different to the model i went before i love all the lights around the front so what i really like on these actually is along here you have these here which are daytime running lights and also parking lights they're actually not the headlights but at a glance when you're driving towards you in the road you'd always assume that's where the headlights would be but they're not headlights are down here with a full light down through there and an indicator down through there and then a front fog light down through there so actually when all the lights are on the front of the car there is a lot of light going on at the front but at night time actually it's a really distinctive kind of set of lights so they're not like other things on the road so sometimes when they come behind you you actually wouldn't really it looks like a big tough vehicle you just don't know what it is after that then there's a nice it's not like a chrome it's more like a tinted dark chrome along here and the grille is the same as well so that is a very big imposing front end of a car i apologize if there's wind noise i know i keep going about it but it's very frustrating uh when you're trying to video a car and you just get wind coming from every direction right the taillights how cool looking are the taillights when you're behind them in nighttime all those different diodes in through there again very distinctive very upper class looking i really like the fact that they have an exposed exhaust silencer i like this skid plate along through here there's a tow bar there for anyone that wants to use it this person was using it for a caravan so it looks like a 30 pin socket but if you want it for a trailer you can just get a little adapter They're about second 10 quid or something like that and that means you can use it on the trailer then it is a four wheel drive h-track which you would have seen when we were driving it that's similar kind of tinted chrome not quite normal bright chrome it's a tinted kind of chrome uh between the tail lights in the rear big spoiler up through here two sorry not two tinted glass all the way around chrome around the windows Again, tinted chrome on the door handles in through here. And actually down here, you may or may not see it at a glance. 
tinted chrome down along through there as well. So again, it looks really, really nice. The car is parked in a crap place. Like normally I try and stand back and give you a better idea of what the car looks like and get a better angle of what it looks uh, like when you're sort of stood away from it. But I've had to park it here because it's the only marginally quieter place I can find. These are roof rails so you can get bars to go off and backwards forward. They look nice, but they're also practical. And then they're a brushed aluminium finish and they also make the car look a little bit taller as well, but they're a damn cool car. Like these are the kind of car, if you want something that's good in terms of size, if you want something that looks nice, uh, and you drive a car like that, like, you, it does feel like a upper class car, like, so it gets the same kind of feeling you get from when you're driving like an E-Class or a 5 Series BMW or something like that. It is a more prestigious car than some of the other ones, in my opinion. To be fair, they're a bit of a jack of all trades, these cars, so some people will want seven seats. Some people won't, so you drop that down. Under here, there is a tannoy cover, so if you want to cover that over, then just have a really big boot, you can do that. Or to bring back up the seats, you have these here, which are really straightforward. There is ways to drop the seats in front using these buttons here. Uh, or if you have people in the back, they have their own climate control in there, which is pretty neat. And as you can see then, once you drop them down, you have acres of space. If you have anything yawkered that you want to transport, Yawkers. Did I just say yawkered instead of yawkers? That's a new word. Anyway, these are nice uh, diamond cut uh, wheels, which look really nice when uh, artificial light shines in them or if they're turning uh, on a sunny day. Um, this is really cool. Uh, they are blinds. There is tinted windows in the car, but the blinds are even better. Rear heated seats. So a lot of Hyundai's have front heated seats, but only Santa Fe seems to have rear heated seats. Speakers in through there with a nice material finish over them. Drinks holder in through there. This is more of a brown than a grey. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see in the video. Um, in terms of the rear seats, then three head restraints, three three point safety belts, Isofix here, Isofix over here. Um, three child seats across the back is not that straightforward. It's doable, but it's not that straightforward. I think really. Uh, I wouldn't be going for three child seats across the middle. I'd be going for one and one and maybe one in the back or something like that, but they are not, just to be clear on this, Isofix, Isofix, safety belts, okay? So, two safety belts in the rear, safety belt in the center, Isofix, Isofix, uh, just to clarify that. Uh, fine, kangaroo pockets, two USB points, a little bit of storage, and a ventilation set up in through there. To get in now the back in one of these, I'll just show you, so press that button there brings that forward so that's how you get in from this side more so because it makes more sense to get into a car like this from the left hand side because obviously the right hand side is where traffic will be passing by i am six foot and i'm not comfortable but then again it's not made for uh, adults so uh, that's what you're looking at headroom is okay it's doable two people could sit back here they wouldn't be tremendously comfortable but two children from, you know, 10, 11 downwards would be very, very comfortable. And the good thing, see, seven seaters, you have to be flexible in how you operate. What you do is you kind of mix and match. So these seats always have a bar, so you can bring one forward and bring one back. And, you know, you try and cater for who's in the car and where they are. That's kind of the best way to use them. And if you can work with that, then you will be happy. It says Santa Fe down here. Same on the front, I'm sure over through here, Santa Fe is written there again, look, it's nice. These actually have Isofix on the front, and you might have noticed there's also a top tether back there as well, so you can have a child seat in the front as well, obviously, but you want to turn off the airbag. That dash is quite low, which is a good thing, so it's better visibility for the passenger. We'll go around to the driver's side. Like, look at the detail that's along here. Not sure what you'd call that kind of wood grain effect along here, brushed aluminium brushed aluminium again that kind of interesting design on the speakers i mean it's cool like it's different than what you see in a lot of other cars uh locking and unlocking the car lock press the button unlock press the button because it's keyless entry so you just leave that sitting in your pocket uh usual electrics for windows and mirrors over here this is electric seating backwards forwards up down lumbar support in through there as well uh condition is good on the seat because sometimes these can wear if the people that own the cars aren't careful with them. Push button start in through here and then everything down here that we talked about. Uh, not sure if I said actually I didn't while we were driving. Wireless charging in through there, another USB point, 12 volt, another USB point in through here. The roof is a grey material, that is electrochromatic so it darkens itself. There's a compass, there's lights up through here and 
that is the color of the interior so dark down low with a kind of a gray roof but like we're saying and you would have seen when we're driving the dash feels low and the idea is to give better visibility overall uh, it's an automatic park brake here i did sorry i didn't say while we we're driving you can change the drive modes to you know smart and comfort eco uh so obviously some being aggressive and some being more concentrated on fuel efficiency after that then uh auto stop start auto hold to <coughs> stop you rolling backwards on hills um overall they're very safe driver side curtain airbag seal impact protection bars and i suppose old school when you think about it a big car it's probably better to have an accident in a big car than a small car that is just a fact of life the car's going to have parking sensors as well and then it also has so the sensors actually will give you a guide up through here and they make noise and then there's also a reverse camera in here as well starting and stopping the car is push button and then the automatic gearbox park reverse neutral drive and then you can go across to go up the gears and down the gears and because that car is 2020 it's going to have a warranty until 2025 it's going to have roadside assist until 2025 as well and the service intervals are quite long in them we've just serviced it still needs to be cleaned a few little jobs like that in terms of uh, getting it ready and detailed uh, but other than that uh, by the time you come to look at it it should be nearly ready to go um, anyway if there's information you want in the car 086843 1945 call text whatsapp or if you come to the garage just ask for Brian Fitzpatrick's garage we are a family run business in operation for almost 70 years uh, hopefully the video has been useful, hopefully the car is of interest and thanks for watching.